Welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask order this side in this video we are going to discuss the problem divisibility tree what does the problem say the problem says that you have been provided with a tree you have been provided with a tree now what do I mean by tree a tree is a graph which does not contain any cycle does not contain any cycle and is whole one component and is connected right and is connected that is they are not more than one component there is exactly one component one connected component so you can see this tree is actually a graph following these two properties right now the problem says I will have to convert this tree into disjoint union trees disjoint union trees disjoint union trees by cutting off some edges by cutting off sub edges so you will have to understand what is the meaning of disjoint union tree so disjoint union tree says that tree is equals to tree 1 plus tree 2 that means I will have to cut tree 1 I will have to cut tree 2 such that tree, any node in tree 1 any node in tree, no, tree 1 is not similar to is not common to what you can say is not common to any node in tree 2 any node in tree 2 what do I mean by that that is they are actually mutually exclusive that is what I mean by disjoint right that is if I take the union of tree 1 and tree 2 I will get my original tree right so how will I solve it I want to cut it now the problem also says that I want the component size that is if I suppose if I cut this edge right this is one of my components created if I cut this edge this is one of my components created right so the com the condition of the question also says that after cutting the connected component side size should be divisible by 2 right size percentile 2 is equals to equals to 0 you have to keep this condition in your mind right so I'm directly jumping to the approach what will I do uh, let me bring off those edges right oh right let me bring off those edges this was here this was here right now what will I do I will say Let's start from the leaf nodes, right? Start from the leaf nodes. This is my leaf node. What is this size? Its size is 1. I can say I cannot cut this edge, right? Because the connected component size will be 1. Moving forward, what is the size of this subtree? This subtree size is 2. I can cut it now because size is 2. That is size percentile 2 equals to equal to 0 is being followed. I will cut this edge. So I cut this edge and I said this is my first edge I cut, right? Moving forward, I see this leaf node, size 1. I see this leaf node size 1. Now this subtree has a size of 3. I can still not cut. But as soon as I enter 6, I can see the size becomes 4. So I can cut it here, right? Second subtree, right? Second cut. Now moving forward. I see size is 1 here. Size is 1 here. Size of this subtree is 3. I can still not cut it. And I as soon as I reach 3, uh, 1, I see I got 4. But 1 is not connected. So I can say 3 trees are 3, 4. 6, 8, 9, 10 and 1, 2, 7, 5 and you can see the sizes of uh, all the three trees are divisible by 2 and that is what my answer will be. So you can see I made two cuts, one is here and one is here, right? So I think that should be clear to you right now, okay? How will I solve it? How will I implement it in my code? What did I do? I traversed up from the leaf nodes again and again, again and again, again and again, right? Now I have one in my hand, I have one in my hand and I have got these connections that is one is connected to three, three is connected to four. And I have been given that 1 is my root. I have been provided that 1 is my root. It has been provided in the question itself. So, my steps will include the following. First, I will create the adjacency list. Because I will treat this question as one of the graph only. Adjacency list of the graph of the tree. Right? Adjacency list of the tree. Now, as you can see, there is no node 0. There is no node 0. What I will do, I will just decrement all of this. That is 1 will become 0, 2 will become 1, 3 will become 2. Why? Because it will facilitate my process. Facilitate my process. You can also do using 1 only, right? If you have that expertise level, okay? Now, I will create the adjacency list of the tree. After that, what I will do is, I will call the DFS on the first node. That is node number 0. Node number 0. What I will do is, in the DFS, what I will do is, Suppose I first I will say visited of start. Let, let us say this is mentioned as start argument in the DFS. So I will say visited of start equals to equals to one. Normal we do same in the DFS also. Moving forward, I will declare one variable count. 
I will declare one variable count that is zero. Now this count is actually count is storing the size of substring storing size of subtree right what I will do is I will traverse all the nodes that are not visited and the connection of the start node that is for auto it in ADJ of start what will happen here what will happen here if that node is not visited if that node is node is not visited I will store a uh, the DFS traversal into a result right my DFS is actually returning integer here my DFS is actually returning integer I will call the DFS for adjacency list and that node that is it right and so it into result now two cases can occur my result can be even my result can be odd now what is my even on odd hold? what is my result holding my result is actually holding size of tree size of tree size of subtree of the connection that is if 8 calls for 9, 9 will return 1. If 8 calls for 10, 10 will return 1. If 6 calls for 8, if 6 calls for 8, 8 will return 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3, right? So, if my result percentile 2 equals to equals to 0. If my result percentile 2 equals to equal to 0. That means, suppose I say, when I call, it, call for 1, this result that is 3, 4 will actually return because the size is 3 now I can say as soon as I encounter 2 I will say that I can cut this connection I can cut this connection and that could cause me a benefit because one of the uh, union trees for me right one of the disjoint union trees for me so I will do the same I will say answer plus plus so before I forget I will I will be declaring answer as a global variable answer equals to 0 globally right globally right now the second case can be that result is not equals to uh, result is not divisible by 10 in that case what I will do so that means this is returning 1 this is returning 1 what will I do I will add it if this is not divisible by 2 that means this has to remain with me only right so I will add it so 8 plus 1 that, oh sorry uh, size of the tree will be 1 first 1 first that is 1 plus 1 will be 2 and when I am returning it I will add this node also so 1 plus 1 plus 1 so I will say result Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this will be size. So, CNT plus equals to result. CNT plus equals to result. That will be all for the DFS drivers. And at last, return your subtree size. That is CNT. Return CNT. In the driver function where, where you have implemented DFS 0, etc., etc., return your answer. That was declared globally. This will. Right? Hope you have understood the code. Hope you have understood the algorithm. It's time for you to move to the coding section now all right guys so here we are and this is the coding section i will be starting to code it just in a few seconds so before starting to code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel hit the like button as much as possible and please 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 do follow me on instagram and on linkedin and make connection with me the links are attached in the description okay so first we will be making the adjacency list vector and adj of size n only right what i will do i will create for int i equals to 0 i less than edges dot size i plus plus but i will say adjacency of edges i 0 minus 1 why minus 1 to make the index 0 waste right dot push back edges i 1 right and similarly for the i 1 push i 0 i 1 push i 0 here it will be 1 and it is something yeah it will be minus 1 minus 1 here also so minus 1 here minus 1 here right now create a vector of int visited which will store n position which are all currently unvisited now I will start the DFS so DFS of send the adjacency list send the visited list and the start node is 0 and at last return your answer return your answer now first I will be declaring the global answer that is equal to 0 right now and now I will be declaring the int, uh, int DFS function. So int DFS vector int adjacency list vector int visited sent by reference and now int start. That is start the DFS traversal from here. The first thing you have to do is mark it as visited. Now make a variable cnt as 0 which will be the size of the subtree I will be returning after cutting etc. Right now for auto it in adjacency of 
the start if the current it is not visited that is if visited in that case go for the dfs traversal store it here in result equals to dfs of uh, at the sensi list with visited and it right now moving forward i will say if my result percentile 2 equals to equals to 0 that means there is a possibility of cut in that case answer plus plus else if the size is odd i have no option to take it with me in the subtree so i will say result uh, sorry cnt plus equals to result now at last return your size of the subtree right let us try to compile and run it hope it will run fine should not give any error i guess so as you can see oh it is not running fine there has been some mistake guys there has been some mistake let me check for it so the oh i found the result uh, i found that it will be cnt plus one why plus one because uh, i will be uh, adding the size of the subtree with the current node right because i'm returning the current node so i will be adding the size of it also right cnt plus one let us try to compile it right now hope it will work and the results are here yes it is working let us try for submit as well in the meantime please consider subscribing to my channel and it is running 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 okay 153 day streak hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe thank you have a nice day